Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as you can see, I am again here with my good friend, Chris Dupour. And today, we, the two of us, are going to give you our picks for the, um, or our, our predictions for each division in Major League Baseball for the coming 2022 season. So, Chris, welcome again. Thank you for having me, Robert Allen. <laughs> so we, I guess we should just delve right into this and we will start out with the two Eastern divisions, the AL and the NL East. And let's start it off with the AL East. Oh, come on, let's save that for last. You want to save that for last because you're a Red Sox fan? Is that what Yeah, I mean? come on. Let's have a little mystery. All right. So let's or we can jump save the AL, uh, next to last and we can do the AL Central to last. Let's start with the NL because that's the least, what we know least about. We'll build up the knowing stuff. Okay, so we'll just start with the NL in general, okay. and we will start with the NL East. All right, I like it. And I'm going to let you lead it out with the NL East and let us know who you, what you have for the pecking order in the East finishing up. I think the Expos are going to win the East this year. The Expos, I love the Expos. If they were still playing, it would be awesome. <laughs> Gosh, I, you know, uh, I think it's, uh, I think the Mets are trending up, but they made some, uh, obviously some good moves with Marte and, uh, but they've had some potentially, um, devastating injuries. Yeah. DeGrom, uh, that really worries me because this is like the third year in a row now where he's missed time. And I don't think that arm is coming back. Right. And the, and the really MRIs don't seem to reveal any damage or anything. Yeah, that's really point. It's good. Exactly. It's got to be frustrating for for them and him, I'm sure. But anyway, for the Mets, Mets obviously made uh, some some nice moves, and uh, I was thinking maybe this would be the year for them. But I, I I don't know. Without the Grom, then there's just then there's really just a bu bunch of what ifs and what could be's. You know, I think that's probably. The case for most teams at this point, but not the Dodgers, but everybody else. Right. Uh, so let's see. Let's run down the teams. We got the Phillies. We got the Nationals. We got the Mets. Oh, the Braves. Let's not forget about the Braves. Let's not forget about the Braves. Wow, that's really. Uh, I always like coming on this show and thinking, and I always have when I'm talking. I'm like, oh well, maybe I should have. I thought. Uh, didn't think about that before the show. So you just want me to pick what team I think is going to win the division, right? No, no. I want you to pick the order. Of, of oh, the, the order. order. Yeah. The, All the, right. The well, I, I mean, I like the Phillies. I'm going to – I don't know. The Braves. Acuna will come back at some point, I think, right? I mean, is that – isn't yeah, that the – Yeah, the I, think he's been, I think he's supposed to be back at some point this season. I think it's – I mean, it's, I like the division. I like the – I mean, the Phillies did some nice things, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, Castellanos and Schwarber, neither one can field to save their life, but man, can they hit in that and in that ballpark? I think they're gonna. I can't imagine that, them not having good years unless they're injury riddled, of course. Uh, who's their who's their Phillies shortstop now? Is it still going to be Gregorius? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I know they got that kid Bryson Stott in the coming up in the in the system. He's supposed to be. A stud, but I mean, so was Scott Kingery, and Scott Kingery didn't pan out. So you never know. I know how you feel about people that are supposed to be studs. Yeah, well, that's really why know. I don't. That's why I hate having the first round. <laughs> but I mean, think about that Phillies lineup in the middle of the order with <laughs> Ramuto, Harper, Castellanos, and Schwarber. Yeah. Dang, how are you going to get? You know, that's four all stars, right? Yeah. Yeah. They should be launching the ball out of the park. And then I think Hoskins is, is healthy, so he's going to be back at first, right? That's five. Yeah. Five out of uh, – of course. Oh, and you know what is also true? The Phillies could play uh, – I mean, I guess they're going to play maybe Obdubal Herrera in center. But then they have the – you know, and the L has the DH, and I think that's the biggest adjustment. And, and that will be interesting to see how it affects these races more than – because – you know, I'm thinking about the Phillies lineup, and then I'm worried about Schwaber and Castellanos having to field. And then I realize, well, one of them doesn't have to field. 
So yeah. it can still be in the lineup. Can you imagine this? And this is, and I can't wait to see after the season, what's the impact of this? You're taking a pitcher out of the nine spot and you're putting Kyle Schwaber in the cleanup spot, let's say. Mm-hmm. What, I mean, just in your head, that's dramatic, right? Yeah. I mean, what a difference to a lineup, so. Yeah. I mean, the Phillies have, I think the Phillies might have enough pitching. I mean, obviously, Wheeler's the point. Wheeler and Nola, you know, I mean, Wheeler to me is a Cy Young contender. And so was, I mean, so was Nola for that matter. I mean, maybe not as much as, I mean, Wheeler had a tremendous year last year. And he also ate up a lot of innings. One of only six guys to get the coveted asterisk in Stratomatic this year. So. All right. We only have a half an hour here. So let's. let's oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. You don't actually want me to talk about baseball. Well, I mean, a little bit fine. But when you're talking about the Phillies for 15 minutes, I don't think we can afford it. All right. Well, that's my, uh, I'm picking the Phillies to win the division. And then I'm going to go Braves, Mets. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one team in that division, the Marlins. Marlins. So I'm going to – here's my upset. I'm going to have the Marlins finish fourth and the Nationals fifth. There you go. Okay. All right. I've got the Braves finishing first. They Why? Lost, they, they lost Freeman, but they replaced him with Olsen. So that's like a zero-sum trade-off. Is it really, though? I mean, that's easy. I mean, they're both gold glove first baseman, right? I mean, they're both very good defensively, but uh, yeah, maybe it is a zero sum. I, I think Freeman might be a little bit better, but it, you're right. It's very close. And then, of course, you know, with Acuna playing a full year or close to a full year, you know, who knows? So I'm going to take the Braves first, and then the Mets and the Phillies, I've got second and third, maybe interchangeable because I don't know how long DeGrom's going to be out. I don't know how long. Uh, the Scherzer should only maybe miss one or two starts, but, um, you know, we don't know. Depends on the injury problems with the Mets. If they can stay relatively well, healthy. Yeah. I mean, if, if Scherzer and DeGrom are out for an extended period of time, then their season's not going to yeah. go the way they hoped. So, um, so I've got the Phillies finishing second if the Mets have a lot of injury problems. If they don't, in their in, particularly in their staff, I think the Mets would finish above the Phillies. And then I got the Marlins and the Nats uh, picking up the rear uh, in that order. So, so we're so, close. We're yeah. close. We just flipped so, the, basically we flipped the, the Braves and the Phillies. That's basically yeah. what the difference between us. So moving on to the Central, I'm going to lead, I'll lead us out with the Central. I got you the do. Brewers winning that division followed very closely, very closely by the Cardinals. And then I've got the Reds, Cubs, and Pirates out here doing their own thing. <laughs> the Pirates are definitely doing their own thing. But I, I think, don't know what it is, but they're but doing it. <laughs> I've got the Brewers and the Cards should be in a battle all summer long for that division title, but um, I'm going to say the Brewers come out on top in it. Um, well, what makes the difference for the Brewers? I'm just interested well, in knowing they why. They won the just division last why. year, right? I mean, they huh? won the division. They won the division last year, right? I, I mean, I can't remember. Maybe I think Cardinals. they did. I think they Cardinals won. were the wild card, and the Brewers won the division. Yeah, and um, and the Cardinals, as far as really upgrading, I don't know that they did, and they have a new manager on top of that, which I didn't know until very recently. That might be a bonus for them. It may be, but I mean, what was wrong with Schilt, though? You know, don't ask me. He was manager of the year, right? I know. <laughs> Maybe he retired. I don't know. Um, but anyway, he didn't retire. They fired him because he wouldn't listen to that front office. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, and then they brought in Pujols, but okay. So you brought in Pujols, but he's like over the hill right now. So. They only brought in pools for two reasons. One, it doesn't matter how over the hill he is, he still mashes lefties like he's 22. And that and it's just a nice goodbye for him. I mean, he's a he's a good chip for them off the bench and to play first against lefties to to spell Goldschmidt or to or let's face it, to DH against lefties, right? I mean, that they yeah. have a hole. Yeah. So I mean the so I've got yeah, I've got Brewers, really- Cards, Reds, Cubs. I, I heard you. you. All right. So, how well, do you? Speak? I'm trying to tell you. All right. <laughs> I thought we'd just actually flow into it there, boss. Uh, I think the Cardinals didn't really need to add much because they're they have a. I mean, look at how young they are. 
you know, Goldschmidt and, and Arenado are obviously older, but all stars, right? And then uh, Edmonds young, and then O'Neill's young, and Bader's young. I mean, a lot of their, I mean, Molina's in his last year, right? So Molina, Wainwright, and Pools are all on that team, and they're all. I mean, I assume, I think, in my head, they're all three of them are going to retire. Certainly, Pujols and Molina are. Well, Pujols definitely will, and so will so will Molina. Molina, and then I don't. Wainwright. We don't know really about Wainwright, but that's a good guess. He's close, though. He's certainly yeah. close to that part, to that point in his life. Uh, so anyway, I think that maybe that'll be cool. Maybe that's a big push for them, you know, with those three guys on the roster that. Uh, but, but the rest of the team, I think, is pretty young. The problem with the youth is, I don't know about the – like, with almost every team we're going to talk about, how deep is their pitching? That's every single team, except maybe the Dodgers. That's the issue, you know? So, I mean, after Wainwright and uh, – what is it? I mean, Flaherty's hurt, right? Flaherty's going to miss the first month, yeah. I think, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, all these guys that are hurt are, are going to have an impact on the race eventually. The Brewers have Burns, right? Mm-hmm. He's and he's he's healthy. Who's who's Hauser. the rest of the staff for the Brewers? They've got Hauser, Adrian. I'm not Hauser. sure that's a plus. You're not sure that's a plus. <laughs> I was looking for good pitchers, and you threw out Hauser. I'm not. What what kind of show is this? No, I'm just kidding. Hauser's decent. I mean, what again, show am I on? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> given the state of pitching, Hauser's more than competent. I'm sure. I mean, I'm hoping Aaron Ashby takes a bigger role. I think that guy's going to be a stud, uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Again, I'm not a scout. So I guess I'm going to take the Cardinals and flip them with the Brewers, just like we did in the East. And then I'm going to – but also I want to say, I think lurking below all of this, maybe possibly potentially, is a Cubs shot. The Cubs did some interesting things, and they have a couple of really – Interesting young players. So I'm going to say, I think the Cubs hang around for a little bit while longer than people think. Okay. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then I don't think the Reds, uh, well, listen, I'm not even going to spend time on the Reds and the Pirates. Let's move on. Okay. All right. We're moving to the West now. And I, yeah. uh, I, I'll, 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 I'll let you lead it out with the West, but I think we both can agree on who we think is going to win the West. Well, I mean, if the Dodgers don't win the, win it, then. Yeah. I assume that's because the world blew up. <laughs> you know, it's going to take something like that. I'll tell you why I think that. I, I The Giants, I don't, the Giants can't repeat what they did last year. Um, that was magical. That was one of those really magical seasons they put together. And now they're going to have high expectations on them. But just the little things that happened to that roster over the offseason, season. I think are going to have a large impact. Um, you know, Bryant not coming back, Posey retiring. Uh, I know Gosman they hired, going I, to the Blue Jays. Who? Gosman. Gosman, right? Gosman going to the Blue Jays, but I mean, they did, they did sign Radon. Now that's a nice signing, right? If he holds up, but yeah. I mean, Gosman was good in that league, and he ate innings, whereas Radon, you know, yeah, we don't know. Him. We, we have to see it the whole year. So, and, you know, I just think – so there were little things to that roster that happened that I think are going to – I mean, you can't replace Posey's production with a wave of, wave of a magic wand. He was really productive as a catcher last year. I mean, ridiculous. Yeah. So, anyway, Dodgers win. Uh, we got the Giants and then uh, – Padre, or the Padres. That's an you know the Padres. Padre. I think the Padres will probably finish second. Maybe get a wild card. They, well, they, they lost some... the T though for a while. They lost who? Tati. Their shortstop. Yeah, Tati's junior, but he's he's going to miss two or three months. He's not going to miss the whole season. Okay. So I mean he'll come. I mean that's what I'm thinking. If they can, I mean because they can move. Well, like who's their shortstop going to be? Kim Cronworth. They'll oh, move Cronworth, Cronworth to short, right. and they'll have the. Uh, I can't remember his name, the Japanese youngster. He'll play second. I, I, I'm just assuming. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, and their, their, their pitching stacks up. They have good young pitching. Then we'll see. I mean, I saw they almost traded Hosmer to the Mets yesterday, so I don't know. 
because they signed uh, – who did they sign to play first base over there? Um, I don't – I'm not sure who they have that play yeah. – who they think that's going to play first. Well, I th- I still think they're, they're a club that could finish uh, second ahead of the Giants. Because the trade that fell through, they wanted Dominic Smith, who they probably would have put at first. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they would have. Yeah. Uh, well, watch out for Ryan Weathers. I think he's going to have a – you know, if they give him a shot, I don't know if he's going to get a shot right away, but he's a good young pitcher. Struggled a little bit last year. They have, they have, they have good young pitching, and so, and I mean, uh, Clevenger's back, right? So that that helps the depth of their pitching. So, who's out? Who else is in the West? Padres, Giants, Dodgers, Rockies, and D-backs. And who? The Diamondbacks. Oh, the D-backs. Never heard of them. Man, the D-backs and the Rockies. Well, the Rockies will certainly be interesting. I kind of like a lot of the Rockies players. Yeah, and they signed Brian. Well, I mean, they got Brian. But besides Brian, I mean, there's there's people on that roster, not Blackman, because I think he's on the way out. But, you know. I love what Walker. you said about Blackman. You, you were like, <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a popsicle stick out there, right? <laughs> Might as well be an orange pylon. I mean, come on. Uh, McMahon, though. I like McMahon, Welker. I mean, obviously, they lose story and, and Arenado in back-to-back years. So Connor Joe? Connor Joe could – I mean, we'll see. He didn't have a huge sample of Connor Joe last year, but he, he certainly looked good. I, I think they're – I think they're probably a couple years away, though, because you can't just replace story. And I mean, McMahon can replace – Arenado, not gray the, too. Yeah, they lost gray to the Rangers, but they, they, yeah. So, and then, and then the D backs. I mean, those are the kind of teams you don't really know. I saw the D backs uh, extended Merrill Kelly the other day, so he must be looking good in spring training, but they don't have, I mean, and then there's. <laughs> they said in baseball prospectus about the Diamondbacks, they said this year. They should just be run of the mill bad instead of a slow motion dirigible crash like they were last year. <laughs> That's accurate. I think. I think they're going to be a little bit better, but I, I don't. I don't know if it's going to be marginally better where they're going to be in the top tier. So, I'll go Dodgers, Padres, Giants, Rockies, D backs. Okay, okay, I'm going Dodgers, Giants, Padres, Rockies, D backs. So close. But two teams again. <laughs> yeah, flip the two teams. That's what we're doing. I just don't. Right. I just don't think the Giants are going to do it. Yeah, this well, year. I just don't think they have it. We'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, Rodon could make a big difference if he has a huge year. Possibly, yes. All right, so I guess we're going to just flip over to the AL West. Unless so we have got some kind of intermissional guys. intermission sketch planned, we we should probably do that. Yeah. Right. So um, I am going to lead us out on the West, and I'm going to say do I've it. got it. I've got it lining up as the Astros, Mariners, Rangers, Angels, A's. Astros, Mariners, Angels. No, Rangers, Angels, and A's. I, I want. I, I, I'm all twisted up now. All I really, really need to know is you're, you're picking the Astros to win. Yes. Still, yes. Even though they lost Korea, I think they still got enough on that team, especially with Verlander coming back. That they uh, they should I think they should still win the West. I mean, you know, whew. what are the what was your what was your, the rest of your order? Um, so after two? them, I've got the Mariners. The, the Mariners did a lot of. They are a good young team. I, they I think they could win the West. I just don't know with the inexperience going up against the Astros. But I think they'll be close to the Astros. I think they'll be there all summer long. But I still got them finishing second. And then the Rangers, because of some of the moves they made, Seager and um, yeah. and um, uh, the second baseman there. Simeon. Yeah, Simeon. Simeon, and, Marcus Simeon. and Gray. So I've got Not them. Not to mention Cole Calhoun. Yeah, I've got them finishing third and then the Angels and then the A's. The A's last. I think yeah. the A's did nothing. There. I mean, they I think we should the, probably start there. The A's all the A's last. did was lose people. The A's will be last, and that's pretty much what they signed up for. Right. Uh, okay. So after the A's, now, now we've declared that. Uh, 
Man, I feel bad for Mike Trout. That's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. When is he going to win? When is he even going to get in the playoffs? Um, I don't know. Let's get where are you George. going? Hey, Kitty. Who does George want? <laughs> George, who are you picking in the West? You're looking plump, George. You need to get on the the Kitty uh, wind tracker or something. Rowing machine for kitties, George. Come on. Georgie is on TV. Yes. I do. And he's very happy. Of course he is. He's getting his neck scratched. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'm going to go Rangers. I'm going to go Rangers. I'm going to say they rolled the dice and they won. Rangers winning the West? Winning the West. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, the Astros are good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you're not. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying you're off base, actually, but they're not what they were, no. especially without Korea. And uh, you know, Bregman hasn't shown much recently. So who do they have that you know? Who do they have in their lineup that scares you? I'll tell you who they have: Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez. Those are the two that scare me the most now. You know, what about El Tuve? He doesn't scare me more than you do. You know, I mean, the guy. I mean, you know, he had a, he had a decent year last year. He always he always hits twenty something home runs. And I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying he doesn't. He's not frightening to me. I don't think of the Astros and think, oh my god, I have to pitch to Jose Altuve. All right. The guys that I that you know I what Tony, about, Tony Gwynn used to say that he used to say that about pitchers. He was like, you know, pitchers aren't afraid of me because they know all I'm going to do is get a base hit. Yeah. <laughs> and still a base maybe in early in his career. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to take the Rangers because Seager and Simeon are awesome. And uh, they have some other really good pieces. Adolius Garcia, obviously, and picking up, you know, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to say the Rangers uh, made the right moves. I love being strong up the middle. I think they're strong up the middle. Who knows with the pitching? Verlander is back for the Astros. There's no doubt about that. But... Is he back all for the whole season? Does he get hurt in a month into the season? He's, I mean, he's 40 years old. So let's not just say, let's not sign him up for 200 innings, right? All right. So I'm going to take the Rangers, go with the Strohs. And uh, actually, I'm going to go with the Mariners second and the Strohs third. I like the Mariners. I'm not yeah. sure if this is their year. Maybe next year for the Mariners. Because mm -hmm. uh, they're just, they are a little green. It's like that banana that's not quite ripe. Yeah. You know, I'm not ready to bite into it just yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. So now we are moving on to the Central, second to last, and my division with the White Sox. So we'll let you lead this one off, too. All right. I am going White Sox. What? And then... Shocker! And then second, Tigers. Even though the Twins went out and got Korea, I still don't – I love the upstart Tigers to finish What second. do you love about them? They are a good young team. Last year in the second half, they were 37 and 34. Torkelson is going to start the season for them. They're I'm on the roster. So I like the Tigers. I think they're a good – and they got um, the dude from the Cubs, the uh, guy that used to be on the Cubs. Um, got Baez. 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 They got Javier Baez. They got um, my man uh, Barnhart from the Tucker from Barnhart. Tucker Barnhart. You are the lead, you are the president of the have, Tucker Barnhart fan club. And they have my favorite reliever, Joe Jimenez. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just because you like them doesn't mean they're good, though. Let's make. So, can we? All right, can but we, I'm going with them. I'm going. Can with we flash a disclaimer up on the screen during the show that just because you like somebody doesn't mean they're good? <laughs> so I'm going with the Tigers to finish second behind the White Sox, and then the Twins, then the Guardians, then the Royals. Hey, Bobby Witt Jr. starting on the Royals. Did you see that? Yeah, he's starting. With, he's starting with the club too. That's an exciting division with. Uh, it is, the, a, it is an exciting division. I'll give you I that. think the Royals are going to be ahead of the Guardians, honestly. I don't. The Guardians have nothing offensively. They have, I mean, who do they? they have right nothing. now they've got Ramirez, and that's only maybe for the time being. So, yeah, and who, and who protects him in the lineup? I guess Vermeil Reyes, you know, but how consistent is Vermeil Reyes? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Against left-handed pitching for sure, but. Yeah, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like Jose Ramirez, but I didn't mean to say nothing. They have Jose Ramirez. But after that, 
but I mean, they, do, they do arguably have the best rotation if it stays healthy. In right, so Savali and and uh, Bieber and uh, Playsack, Playsack. I mean, that's a good rotation. Yeah, no doubt. I don't know if it'll stay healthy, and I don't think. I mean, they're going to lose a lot of three to two games. I think. Yeah. So that's the issue there. Uh, but they're not. I mean, but and I, I just want to say their their outfield production is the worst in the major leagues, worse than the Marlins, I believe. So right. that's hard to overcome. We'll see. We'll see what Terry Francona magic weaves, but because uh, I think he's back. Oh, is he? All right, good. Francona, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I like the Royals, man. I like I, I like the I like the Royals. Do you see Granky's going to be their opening day pitcher? Yeah. That's yeah, a, I like that. I like floor. that. I like Wit. I like Mondesi. I like Wit. I like Merrifield. I like uh, Ben and I like Michael A. Taylor out in center. Michael A. Taylor. Yeah, no I like Salvador Perez behind the dish. Yeah, I mean Santana looks has had a huge spring training, so if he can bounce back and be even better at first, that would be. I mean, I, I like the Royals. I'm not, again pitching depth. I mean, but you know they have young pitchers if they suddenly find it like uh Jackson Quoar and uh Bubik, right? And, Ooh, uh, who knows? Yeah. Maybe Brad Keller. Is Brad Keller still on the Royals though? Um, I think he is. Yeah. Maybe I think he he is. Back. As far as I know he is, yeah. Yeah. So I like the Royals. I like the Royals. Actually I think the Royals could be really exciting in that division. The Tigers are the trendy pick because of the bias signing and they were really exciting last year with Badu. Yeah. And uh my man Willie Castro, who did not have a good la year last year, so maybe he bounces back. Barnhart certainly helps behind a plate. Right, and their young pitching is a year ahead of the. I mean, they got Casey Mize. That's amazing, right? And Matt, I don't know if is Matt Manning. Did Matt Manning make the rotation? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't. I don't. I haven't seen if he had or not. But uh, so the Tigers and the Royals. But I like. Uh, I do like that. What the Twins have done. They. I like. Uh, I do like what the Twins have done. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Sanchez behind the plate now. and, uh, and Yeah. You know. I mean, if he could stay healthy and, and just hit 220 with 40 homers or 30 homers, that would be good. I don't know if he can. But, yeah. but I mean, Sano's another year. You know, how, how, how good will – he, will he improve at all? And then they have I – mean, I mean, they have Larnick. They have Kirillov. They have Buxton signed, and you know if he stays healthy, good night. If Buxton right? stays healthy, yeah, they could and, be. A and don't forget about Polanco. Hot. Polanco's huge now. Polanco's going to be at second with Korea at short, and Sano. And who's who's going to play third for them today? I'm getting a third baseman. Um, yeah, the guy from the Yankees. Um, yeah, Urshela. So I mean, come on, that's that's not horrible. With Sanchez behind the plate, and the, and then I like their staff. Right, they have a. Uh, well, they got. I mean, they, they got Meda. They got Pineda. Did Pineda sign with them? Did the, the Tigers? Where did Pineda sign? I don't know, but I know they got the Tigers. That could be a big signing. I can't. If he's, I can't remember if he resigned with the Twins or went to the Tigers. But, but you know, Sonny Gray and then Bailey Ober and yeah, Sonny Gray is gonna. You know, uh, I like the Twins more than I like the Tigers. Nah, I like the Royals. And then we haven't even talked about the White Sox, who are obviously set up to fail because of the expectations are so high, right? Expect well, all right. Let's let's define fail. Because they're going to win the division. Maybe so, not. No. Maybe not. No, no there's no way. I think the twins could win that division. I think I, I think the White Sox problem is going to be the playoffs, but they're going to win the division. I don't know. I mean, Twins could give them a battle. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of these teams improved to the point where they could give them a better battle than happened last year. I think that's going to be a great division this year. Not a, not, uh, Sorry, not great. I think that's going to be a very interesting division this year. The White Sox certainly are set up to win it. Uh, so I'll take the White Sox with the Twins, Tigers, and my Royals battling for second. And then the uh, other team that we don't talk about. Uh, battling by themselves for last. Okay. All right. So that means we're moving to the AL East. That's right. We're going to the East. I'm going to let even... Chris Dufour lead us out on the East. I know everybody wants me to say the Blue Jays are going to win the division. 
I just don't think they're going to. They might. I don't know. They just might. They went out and got every great player. That's... <laughs> they are the East Coast Dodgers, right? I mean, they did get a lot of good <laughs> they players. They are. That's basically what they are. But winning the offseason never means you're going to win the division. It, ne- it no, hardly ever translates. No, you're you're so right. So right I'm going to say – I don't want to say it. Who's the – wait, we got Red Sox, Blue Jays, Yankees, Orioles, and who? I'm forgetting the team, right? Rays? Did you say Rays, the Rays? right, the Rays. Don't want to discount the Rays. No. Because they are – because I always discount the Rays, and then they're always winning the freaking division. We all do. Second. We all do. But I don't know how they're doing. But last year, here's a here's an interesting fact about the Rays. Last year, they had 43 come from behind wins. I don't think that's what people. I really want to pick the Red Sox to win this division, but their bullpen might be the worst bullpen in baseball. It might just be, yeah. I'm trying to think off the top of my head who might have a worse bullpen. Maybe the Marlins? I don't know. Maybe some bad team that's not going to do very well. I mean, the Marlins are going to be interesting. Don't get me wrong. I love their young pitching, starting pitching especially. I just don't know about their bullpen. And they got Joey Wendell. So. I mean, once you sign Joey Wendell, go go third base. And what else do you need? But that aside, uh, I'm not going to pick the Red Sox to win the division. I'm not going to pick the Yankees because, I honestly, I don't the like Yankees their don't pitching. Yankees questions. Yeah, and I, they relied so heavily on their bullpen. The Yankees, every time they talk about, even the guys on yes, when they talk about the Yankees, they say, if this happens, if that happens, if this happens, there's just too many ifs. Yeah, but what? so what are, what are the Rays really got going for them? Um, I, I'm, I'm, you're right. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, right. Glasnow's going to miss almost the whole year, I heard. That's I, think they, I think they overperformed last year. They, I think they did a lot of stuff that's just not repeated. They do have Wander Franco, though. Full season of Wander Franco, man. That's magic because that yeah. dude's awesome. Yeah. And they uh, got a Rosarena. Yeah, they got a Rosarena. They got Kiermaier back, right? He signed. He re-signed with the Rays. But, uh, I mean, they've been trying to trade Meadows for um, two months or since this – Lockout ended. I don't know why. I, I no. I never. They always are trying. But to that's yeah. I mean, who am I to question them? Right. I don't know. Right, and that's know. exactly. You just said exactly what I always say about the Rays. Private to myself. I'm like, the, the stuff that they do doesn't make sense and it shouldn't work. But who am I to say that they're stupid for doing it? Because every time we say that, they either win the division or they make the playoffs in some way or shape. Yeah. I mean, I like, uh, but they lost Fairbanks too. So they lost Fairbanks and they lost Gla- and Glassnell's not going to be back for most of the season. Fairbanks is going to be out for, I think, most of the season. I mean, Charlie Morton's on the Braves now, right? <laughs> I, who's going to pitch for them? It's going to be Fleming, right? It's going to be who? I'm trying to think who their stud is. Yarborough. That's not their stud, dude. You and I have a very right, different no, definition not, of the word stud. Stuff. If you think Yarborough's their stud, it's not their stud. We got to ask who was we got to work on our, huh? You asked who was pitching for them. I was just going. No, down I said, what, "Who's their stud?" Is what I asked. All right. You gave me their um, least, uh, their least productive starting pitcher. Is what you gave me. <laughs> I want the stud. Uh, you gave me their worst starter. All right. I don't know. I I, I, I can't pick the Rays because I can't even – can't do it. Yeah. So if I can't pick the Rays, I can't pick the Yankees, I can't pick the Red Sox, I'm certainly not going to pick the Orioles. So you know what? We're back. Circle it back around. I'm taking the Blue Jays to win the division. Circling back to the Blue Jays. It's all circling back to Dwight Evans again. No, it's the Blue Jays. Um, I, I'll take the Red Sox to finish second. And then over the Yankees in a in a battle for a wild card spot. Maybe, maybe both. Battle maybe Royale. Both and then, uh, and then I think I don't think the Rays make it this year. That's my prediction. Mm, that's an interesting one. All right, I've got the Blue Jays winning the division. Then I've got the Yankees. Then the Rays. Then the Red Sox. And then the Orioles. That's just piss poor on your part. You're just you're totally underestimating the Boston Red Sox. I may be. I may. They may know. have the best lineup in baseball, even better than the Dodgers. 
All right, let's 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 pump the brakes. <laughs> nope. I'm telling you right now, look out. I'm just saying, you know, you heard it here. Best lineup baseball, most production, Boston Red Sox. Rafael Devers, MVP, AL MVP this year. By the way, on my uh, Southern contingent Highland Hammers, I have both Devers and Enrique Hernandez. Enrique, yes. And look out for a bounce back here from Jackie Bradley at Junior. Jackie Bradley, I want a definite, I want a bounce back year from him because I got him on grades. I mean, what more, what more incentive does he need? <laughs> what more incentive does he possibly need? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So are we, are we just going to whip through this quickly? World Series, playoffs, World Series, or are we done just picking divisions for now? We can do that later. Um, let's just go with who you think is going to end up winning the AL, who do you think is going to win the, end up winning the NL, and then the World Series. Um, who's going to win? You go first. White Sox right. versus Dodgers. That's what I'm predicting you're going to predict, White Sox Dodgers. No. No, what? because the White Sox always seem to fall flat on their face in the playoffs, and I don't really see a reason why they would do that again because they that's just what they do. So, <laughs> All right. So who is it from the AL then? So Who's I'm going to say Dodgers? I'm going to say the Blue Jays. Win Ooh, the Blue AL. Jays, Dodgers. Blue Jays, yes. Blue Jays, Dodgers. I think I'm going to have to go with that. Yeah. All right. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. This is the 50th anniversary of me being a Red Sox fan, by the way. 50th. Love it. Yeah, I finally did it. I reached the 50th year root for the Red Sox. So, in honor of that, I'm going to take... Oh, I'm going to take uh, Red Sox in the World Series against George. George. Uh, Curious George. You got the White Sox, George? <laughs> I don't know, Red Sox Dodgers or Red Sox. Uh, yeah, I can't see the Cardinals. Uh, no. You know what? Uh, let's just do this for the fun of it. I'm going to take Red Sox Phillies. That would be a fun World Series. Yeah, that would be. Might not be right. Dodgers will probably be in, but I, I just hate picking chalk. So I'll go Red Sox Phillies. Okay. George is going to take his cousins, the Tigers. <laughs> well, he should. He knows Tucker Barnhart's behind a plate. See you, George. When are you when are you uh, when are you open in the bar today? By the way, uh, it's going to be about three o'clock. Three o'clock. All right, yeah, I'll be down. In, save save me a spot. So what do you guys think? You'd like our picks? Uh, do you think we should do it differently? Did you think that we were off I base? I think they're all going to think we should have done it differently. I don't, we, we don't need to ask. <laughs> so leave me a comment below. Definitely leave a, a thumbs comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. Peace.